so um, Ben decided not to ride back with my parents <laughs> and instead to continue on. Um, we got to Damascus and it just happened to be the same weekend as this Trail Days Festival, which is like an Appalachian Trail Hikers Festival where like people that were on the trail and pe anybody who had ever hiked the trail and anybody who was interested in the trail like comes to Damascus, you know, for this big like kind of hippie jam fest thing. And you know, they all camp out in tents and there's this crazy place called Tent City, you know, where it's just tents crammed into this space and you know. And we had a pretty crazy fun. time at the um, and like um, this what we say this, this hostel, hostel called, called the place. place in Damascus. It was the Appalachian Trail went through there. So there are a lot of trail hikers. They they were interesting. They're weirdos, most of them. I, I mean, <laughs> unlike bikers <laughs> of the Trans America route. Right. The other cool thing was we met some other people that were biking the route. Right for the first time in the trip. So that gave us some like camaraderie. One of them, this girl, and that was when we met met Joy. Like right. you know, she was the first Trans Amer that we yeah. met. You know. There were also um, several guys who had all just graduated from Duke camped right. out there. Um, and they looked really like ragtag, like Joy was saying, like they don't even have a stove or something. And we were, <laughs> we're like, they'll never make it kind of feeling. <laughs> something um, we should say about the Duke boys real fast um, is that apparently coming down the mountain into oh, Damascus, yeah. one of them yeah. like had wiped out and like, you know, like, I don't know, fell off the road and um, apparently like, just skidded like his body just skidded through a bunch of gravel and he had a bunch of it was his whole like one side of his body was just full of gravel and they had like to go to the you know emergency room in Damascus I guess and get all this stuff picked out and and they said that there was like gravel embedded in his muscle and like it sounded really bad and um but he kept going and, you yeah. know, made it. Like, it was amazing. So. Yeah, they hung out in Damascus a couple extra days. Like, right. Yeah. So when we left there, um, we took the Virginia Creeper Trail into Abington, which was right. a really good move. Yeah, and that was um, off of the actual Trans Am route. Um, you know, we picked it back up after Abington, but... Um, yeah, that was nice, yeah. like, to stay on the, eight, um, stay on the Virginia Creeper away from the traffic for once was a nice yeah. change. So here we are at the top of, do you know what mountain this is? Clinch Mountain. Clinch Mountain. Um, also known as the wall to the, the Trans Amers. Um, because apparently a lot of people quit trying to get up the mountain. But fortunately for us, it was nothing compared to the Peaks of Otter climb. <laughs> Which we had hoped and suspected. I got, uh, one of the things that really helped me going up the hills is that I got a new rear cassette with lower gears for my bike. And though my right knee is still hurting, it's, you know, not so bad. It's, I don't know, maybe like yesterday. Um, so with the help of the, the gears, the cassette, I was able to make it up the hill. All right, and we took some breaks, it was good. Nice and pretty. So, I think we're about set. Are you ready? <laughs> Apparently there's some kind of hairpin turn that we need to make. All right, you go first, you're the small man. <laughs> All right. Don't fall. Okay, you don't either. Well, I guess I should say something about like, the set. Just, um, but it was funny because like, you know, there was this debate that there's a rear derailleur that changes the gears on the back. And there was this, I didn't know if I would need to get a mountain bike derailleur or if I could keep my road derailleur. And the guy in the shop was, he made it work. You know, he said, oh yeah, yeah, I'll make it work. You know, he made it work. And then, but then he was like, but you can't cross shift, which means when your chain is on, um, you, you can't have your chain on like the biggest gear in the front and the smallest gear on the back or vice versa, where it's stretching the chain to its, like, capacity because, he said, the chain might explode, like, spontaneously, like, come apart. So that was, like, kind of a, uh, like, fear in the back of my head for, you know, the whole rest of the trip, really. And I would always accidentally shift into those that range, and I'd say, chain death, chain death, oh, no, you know. Like. 
Yeah, like, in retrospect, like, it was kind of interesting, like, meeting the Appalachian Trail hikers and sort of seeing the commonality, like, in terms of, like, sort of thinking about resources and, like, what you take and, you know, right. what you carry with you and sort of how... And I think I realized that more later on as we ran into... Like, remember that one guy that was saying, like, man, you know, if I was on a bike... I would take a cooler, you know, full of ice and cold drinks, you know, I would haul it all the way across country with me so I could have cold drinks whenever I wanted. It's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> I think, like, later as we started to run into more eastbounders, I kind of started to recognize that sense that they all had of, like, we're doing this thing and we're, like, but at the time, we, we have something in common, but at the time, I think I just felt kind of annoyed by all the hikers and was like, oh, they're right. weird. Yeah, right. But, well, there were a lot of weirdos. Yeah, yes. there were. But I feel like as the trip progressed, I realized that in a way we were similar. Like, the yeah. folks on the Trans Am route were similar. Yeah. Um, there yeah. seemed to be a lot of people who had, like, hiked the AT and then they, like, were looking for some other sort of adventure you know, long-term thing to do, and they heard about the Trans Am route and wanted to do it. So with this trail day, um, like most of the people who are through hiking the whole trail have long passed Damascus by then. They're up in like Pennsylvania, right. but they like, like catch all these rides, like headed right. down and like. So we were there. There's shuttles and there's people who will, like pick up a bunch of hikers and take them to Damascus for trail days and then after the weekend's over they give them a ride back to where they were on the trail and they just start over so that idea of being able to like take a break and like go back to where you started was just kind of like an interesting concept and also sort of the hitchhiking like later I think I would think more about (laughs) right right and and that you know to go with that like there was somebody I don't remember who first told us about this but um, there's this concept on the AT of was it Blue blazing is that the regular trail? Blue blazing, white, white blazing is the regular trail, which means it's the markings on the trees. They you know put white spray paint, and that's how you know you're you're on the Appalachian Trail. Um, and then there's alternate trails that um, some of which are easier, or go down to towns where you can stay at a hotel, right, shortcuts or yeah, yeah. whatever blue, are blue blazed, and and so you know the among the hikers they refer to you know. Are you white blaze? Are you blue blazing? Like, oh, he's a blue blazer, you know. Like, he's not hardcore. Like, he's you yeah. He know. goes. He takes a side trip down to the city and like buys some groceries and gets something to drink. Right, or, right. Yeah. Oh, so anyway, the uh, yellow blazing. He said, "There's also yellow blazing." Right? What's yellow blazing? He's like, "Well, you know those dots on the road. You know those yellow lines. That's yellow blazing." So apparently, that's people who like you know actually get rides you know further up the trail or they'll get a ride you know to town or you know take a weekend at a hotel you know and rest up and then go back and hit the trail again but but take a a vehicle up you know so he says you always right. know somebody's yellow blazing because like you pass them a ways back and then you see then you pass them again and they've like had a haircut and, and they're a like, shower yeah, yeah right <laughs> Yeah. And we were like, wait, we're always yellow blazing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny, you know, because we are always in contact with civilization, you yeah. know, in that way, except for a few spots. Right. <laughs> um. So yeah, this guy we talked to. It was the next morning at the place. He was a 